Hello dear student, this is Palash Chakraborty, assistant teacher, Square High School and College. Welcome to my class. Subject Hindu Religion and Moral Education, Class 8, Chapter 4, Lesson 1 and 2. Okay, so it's time to declare our topics today. So here we have seen a picture. So from the very picture we have seen uh, pranam of uh, Surya Deva, then Yagasana, then reading books. So from the very picture you can guess. So this is our daily activities. So today's topic is Nitya Karma and Yagasana. So let's go for the text in detail. So the daily practices are absolutely holy duty. So by the practicing of daily practices, yoga, ascetism, to worship God, action and duties, enjoyment, joy, amusement, all of these good works would be enjoyable and will be gained earthly and spiritual goodness. So body is the original source of spiritual activities. So it is necessary to practice meditation for everybody for keeping well body and peaceful mind. Shariram Adhan Khala Dharma Sadhanam. So, exactly, Sharir, body is everything. So, lesson one Nitya Karma. So, to perform regularly honest behavior is very is a valuable wealth in life of a man so the people who are acquainted with practicing regular practice that is nitya karma their mind would be calm quiet and satisfied the body will be well and industrious and their life will be sanctified pure and transparent. As a result of daily practice, a good practice of doing work is formed. They can do all work properly and timely, so they do not feel laziness in any work. Okay, so the result of good work always can be seen in the daily practices, that is Nitya Karma. So the time would be specified to do good work for everybody. So the performer of daily practice, their house also would be clean, clear, sanctified and pure. So very early in the morning, wake up from the sleep. In this immortal moment, by good determination, pray to God by chanting Him with due respect, give up laziness and a whole day will pass beautifully. So the daily practice that is Nitya Karma are absolutely pure duty. So by the practicing of daily practices that is Yoga, ascetism, to worship God, action and duties, enjoyment, joy, amusement, all of these good works would be enjoyable and will be gained worldly and spiritual goodness so it is reasonable for each of us to do daily practices regularly and to behave with supposition very earnest religion duties meaning of hymns so we all should practice nitya karma lesson two that is gamakasana that is the specific yagasana so here we have seen a picture, a posture of body. So just see the picture very carefully. The idea of Gomukhasana. So at the time of staying in this seat, the position of feet become as like as the head of cow of that person who practices this seat. So the name of this seat is Gomukhasana. Okay, so let's see the method of exercise of this asana. Sit straight on the ground, spreading two legs forward. Then fold 
right leg at the knee and touching the left side of the hip by the ankle of right leg. Similarly, fold left leg at the knee and touch right side of hip by the ankle of left leg. Okay, so now pull the right hand straight up over the head and fold at the elbow. The palm of right hand keep down towards the back straight near the neck. Left hand fold at the elbow keep up towards the back. The finger of two hands would become just like fishing hook and fix up one hand with another hand. Okay, so the neck and the spinal cord will remain straight. The side of eye will go to the front side. In this position, you have to stay 30 seconds with normal breathing. After that, disclose the hands. Two legs spreading forward on the ground like before. After this, the position of the left, in spite of right that means the hand and the legs should be changed and the asana would be done again so after this you have to take rest for 30 seconds in shavasana so you have to uh, practice the shavasana after every asana so in this way it would be done for four times in a day so if you practice this it will be more beneficial so here we will read today about the influence also so you have to keep in mind when the right knee will remain on the left knee then the right hand will keep up when the left knee will remain on the right knee then left hand will keep up so this is a tips for you just keep try to practice it so there are so many influence of this asana so let's have the influences. Let's have the benefit of this asana. By, exer by the exercise of Gamukhasana, the muscle of foot become relaxed. Pain of foot removes. Recovers remote pain of knee. It recovers the muscle pain of the backside. Unequal shoulder become equal. The pain of joining position of shoulder removes. The spinal cord becomes soft. Bended spine becomes straight. It cures the troubles of stomach and removes constipation. Digestive power increases. Insomnia goes away. Tension and anxiety of mind go away mind remains peaceful so this is all about the gomukhasana so you have try uh, that you have to try this asana so keep just practicing this asana it will just really good for health so just try to keep uh, practicing this asana and <coughs> you have to memorize the method of exercise and the influences of this asana you have to uh, exact you have to memorize this two part of this question so thank you thank you for watching thank you for be your patience stay safe be blessed thank you